Writing a strong research document just feel like climbing a Mount Everest because you have to go through different challenges. Very first challenge is that uh, how to start writing your document and then how to come up with new ideas and how to proceed your writings in an efficient way. And lastly, how to make your document free from all kind of grammatic errors and according to the professional academic tone. These are the challenges which every researcher face when he or she have to work on a new project. So you need a complete guideline and a roadmap or assistance to complete your research documents starting from generating idea till submission to your university or if it's a research paper to the specific research journals. And there is a tool in the market which is going to help you throughout this process in multiple steps with the multiple features at one place. The name of the tool is a paper path. And to be a good user of Paperpal means you are having a research writing coach with you, a grammar editor and personal research assistants all in one place. Because Paperpal is going to help you at multiple steps starting from developing the outline of your document, rewriting, rephrasing, making it tone more academic, giving you ideas how you can expand your research document and in other related multiple ways. To be familiar with all these features and how you can take benefit from paper poll properly let's have a look on the interface of the paper poll as you can see paper poll is specifically designed for academic writing this tool has been trusted by the top universities publishers and academic writers from more than 125 countries and as you can see the reviews of the users of paper poll paper poll has you covered at every writing stage you can avail these multiple features by using using Paperpal and when you look at the pricing, Paperpal is offering you a lot of free trial. If you want to go for unlimited use of all these features, then you have to go for its price. When you get logged in with your Gmail ID, here you have to generate your new document where you want to play with it, uh, with the features of a Paperpal or you can also install Microsoft Word add-on to get all kind of editing grammatic error suggestions from Paperpal on the document you are working in Microsoft Word. We will generate our new document and now we are going to paste our document applications and features of Amidas will be styling liquids you can see a lot of options on the right side of the tool click the first option we are going to see the changes in our document to make it more academic and more professional sentence wise as we have the suggestion for our first sentence and paper Paul rewrite it for us as we can accept it and reject it if we accept it Paper Paul will automatically move to the second sentence and suggest us the changes in our second sentence. So in this, in a few minutes, we'll able to make our document more professional and more in academic tone. So we will accept all and we will move further in this way. When we go to the option of Copilot, Copilot is going to provide us these three major features. The first one is rewrite, second one is a generate, and the third one is the ask. These three features are very prominent features and they're going to help you to make your document and make your academic writing process very easy and very professional. Like for example, if we click these two sentences and we click paraphrase, we will press the button generate and Paperpal Copilot feature will start writing or paraphrasing this piece of content for us. So the major difference between the paraphrasing and rephrasing of Paper Pilot and other rephrasing tool is that Paper Paul does not change the structure, does not change the meaning of your document and it keeps in mind the academic tone and the professional look of your academic document which most of the rephrasing tool destroys. You can use a trim option of Paper Paul to decrease the length of any part of your document by just selecting that portion. Then if you want to make this specific piece of paragraph more academic, press generate button also. The following essay aims to delve into the synthesis of this, 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 and this, this, this. So it, this tool is uh, making this specific paragraph more academic. So we will replace it. Paper Paul split the information into headings and subheadings to bring the clarity in our document. Now we will 
explore the generate feature of uh, paper poll which is going to give us the outline of any kind of a research document for example if we want to come up with the outline of a research article we have to select the section of which section we want to generate the outline for example we want to generate the outline of introduction part then we have to uh, select the field of study and then we have to give some description or of, of our uh, document on which we are working what are the details which we want in our introduction part and all that for example I just uh, uh, select this random portion and we will go towards the generation of the outline of a introduction part of a research article so generate feature of paper ball will, will come up with the complete outline of introduction part and here we can see this with that what we have this is the background this is the topic importance this is the existing knowledge this is the knowledge gap these are the rational these are the research questions these are the aim and objective and this is the hypothesis Hypothesis to deal with the aims and objective and this is the whole story which we have to cover in the introduction part of a research paper so you can give your information you can give your random writing in the uh, paper poll and it will arrange your information into the section wise and you will come up with the well formed structure of your research paper research article or any kind of a research document as you can see you can uh, come up with the outline of a case report as a statement of purpose and all that in the same way you can also generate the title of your document for example you have a document and you're not coming up with the good ideas about the catchy and appealing title then you can ask uh, co-pilot to generate the title of your document so this is the title unlocking the potential of metazole based ionic liquid structure synthesis and wide range of application and you just have to click over here where you want to place this information and you can press insert and this title will come up at that place you can generate the keywords of your document in the same way you can generate the abstract of the document you provide and paper poll will generate a fine abstract for you so this is the title and this is the abstract of your your document for example we will we want to bring this over here so this is the perfect highly professional and very well written abstract of this document which I have provided to paper. Paper also give you an option to chat with your paper and if you want if you want to add more information in that specific section of your document. For example I want some more information about this specific uh, section of my work I just have to write over here and press the button ask and paper Paul will expand this information for me and give me a more information related to this specific information I provided to the paper Paul. You can also avail the options of synonym suggestions for example I highlight this word properties and synonyms of the properties tunable properties of or tunable features of so this will give me the percentage of usage of the words that property is being used 86% in academic document as compared to tunable features which is only being used to 13% so this tool will come up with the synonyms of the keywords you want to change uh, you can also write your document in any other language and can translate it into English and paper Paul, as we see earlier is going to provide us almost 25 plus languages options to translate them into English you can also check the consistency of your document and uh, just by clicking the consistency you will come up with the any contents issues and consistency issues have been found in uh, this document but if there are some paper Paul will suggest you the changes so in this way you can come up with the ideas you can develop the outlines you can expand the information you can rephrase the information you can build the outline of any kind of a research document you can build the outline of a statement of purpose if you want to share with any kind of a research group for research collaboration or for research position with the help of a paper so I will suggest you that is as this tool is going to provide you some free runs also you should try this tool and to access this tool the link is given in the description box you can share your feedback in the comments and if you feel any kind of a problem while using paper pile, you can also ask in the comment section I will be there to answer you we'll see you in another very informative video to then take care of yourself bye bye